Now let's start. Let's try to understand the algorithm behind this DB scan, DB scan algorithm. What is the actually algorithms are running behind this clustering technique? Let's see. So first going to start this algorithm, we have to remember these algorithms are made by the database engineer or data mining engineer. So these algorithms are not made by applied mathematicians or, or scientists. These algorithms are made by the database engineers. And based on this, because in this algorithm, we have not seen such kind of complex mathematics. So the, 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 the concept of these algorithms are made by database engineer. Or you can call data mining engineer. Okay. Now let's see. So, so before before start the Davis-Kahn algorithms, we have to choose a correct hyperparameter. First thing that we have to choose, we have to choose a correct hyperparameter according to our data set. So, how we'll choose this thing? We will see these things in the next video. Okay, we will see it. How to choose a proper hyperparameter? We will see these things in next video, but. We have to remember it before starting these algorithms. We have to choose the correct hyperparameter. So, what is the hyperparameter that we have learned in this chapter? So, in a, in DB scan, the hyperparameter is mean points and epsilon. The hyperparameters are the hyperparameters are here. The mean points. And the epsilon, these are the two hyperparameters here. First, we have to choose this one. Okay. Choose these two hyperparameters epsilon, a main points, and epsilon. Okay. First point. After choosing this, we have to start. So, let's try to let's understand step by step. In first step that we have to do, we have to pick up all the points from our data set. So, for all points in our data set, suppose let's take the data set we have D, the contents xi point, i is equals to 1 to n, i is equals to 1 to n. Sample the number size of the data set D is n. Okay, let show. For all xi in our data set D, for A all xi in our data set D, first we have to labeling them. Okay, labeling means I am talking about the we have to label it as it is a core point or border point or it is a noise point. First we have to label it. So first we have to label the H point on our data sets like this. It is a core point. Or it is a, a border point or it is a noise point. Okay, first we have to label H point. Okay, how we will label it? So simple by labeling this uh, to labeling the H point we will use the function range query functions we will in a next in next video we'll see this thing in one of our next video you will see these things how these range query functions have actually what is the algorithms behind these range query functions we will see these things <laughs> but now let's see uh, we have to find the level to find the level of the h square which query point we have to run the h range query function We have to run the range query functions. The input of these functions is the h point xi, and from which data set we have taken this point, and what it's its epsilon value, the parameter epsilon value. We have to we have to take these three inputs, and the output will be the and this output will be the ACI means 
the number of which points are, are in the same density region means this is the core the density dense dense means these points are the core point or not this kind of sets they have they have given and already we will see in density connected points what is density connected points it and it will give the output the dense set of density connected points okay simple these things that's the so set of density connected points, set of border connected border points, set of noise points, they, they, the, the functions are give the output like that. Okay, we'll see these things in one of our next video. Okay, but now now let's try to understand these things. So the the in to to simulate to simulate this range function, the the data structure are actually used. Already we have seen the KD data structure, the KD tree. The KD tree data structure actually used to build the query function. We uh, we will see this thing. We will see in the next video. Uh, but uh, and just just now just, just see these things. Now just see these things. So by simply applying this range query function, so you will got the output the set of code points, border point, noise points. Okay, and simple these query points are made by simply using this KDT data structure. So the labeling will made like such like that. So the labeling will made be like that suppose let's take the data point x1 x2 x3 suppose the we got the data point uh, uh, the output of the data point x1 suppose let's take it's the core point denoted to c suppose let's take x2 is border point suppose let's take x3 is noise point suppose let's take again x4 is noise point suppose let's take x5 is core point like that like kind like this kind of notations we, we have used or if you interested we can use the by using simple the color various kind of color various kind of symbols as you like but simple we have to label these things as different notations okay as you like so this is the first step that we have to do now in second step now in second step that we have to do in second step we have to remove means already we have label all the data points we have to remove the noise point from the data we have to remove we have to remove the noise point we have to remove the noise point from our data set From your data set okay and uh, how you will remove because we have already seen who those who are the noise who are the border who are the uh, core by simple using this noise points we will we will so removing the noise point means what to remove this noise point means what means we make the more sparse regions to make the sparse regions We make the more sparse regions. Okay. Or another language we can call most makes more sparse region or or we remove the points that don't belong to any cluster. Or we remove or we remove the points that don't belong to any cluster. that that don't belongs to any cluster so in second step that's the job that we have to do okay in second step this is a simple thing we can easily doing this job okay now in third step in third step the job that we have to do you have to for each core means we have to now in third step we have to make some looping here so for each core point because already we have built core point which one is core which one is noise which one is border we have already built we have already labeling this point now in third step for each so a second step is for noise point we have removed all the noise point that's job done now for now come to the core points but now for each core point now 
now for h core points suppose let's take p p are the core points let let p that not assigned I mean initially initial step is for h point core point we have not assigned to h core point to any cluster point it's not assigned to any cluster initially we have to doing this job okay initial step this is the initial initially we have to do it now, after initializing these things we have to make some sub stages for this for this so first sub stage first sub step sub step is stop sub step okay sub step this is the step number three this is the sub step three okay so in sub stage we create a new cluster with p means p is the core point we picked a core point and we make we we make this using this point as a as a cluster new cluster we create a new cluster we create a new cluster using using p this is a, these are these are the same points okay these are these are the same points so let's try to understand so suppose suppose let's take the point p here we have we have got the point here these are the point p okay so these are here are some point here some point here some point all the suppose let's all the points there have are the all the points of the core points now some points here some points here some points here all the points there have all the points of the core points okay first picked any point first picked any point suppose like we will pick this point and we lay we using this point we we create a new cluster by using this simple this p okay first thing now in second step that we have to make we have to add all the points that are density connected to this p means in already we have seen how to find the density connected points so we have to find which points are the density connected points to this p and we will put it put these points into the same cluster that job that is these jobs that we have to do in this step so at all the points l at all the points points that are that are density connected that are density connected to the point p or to the point p into into this into the same cluster into this that's the job we have to repeat for h h core point that's the job that we have to repeat for h core point this will make by using the loop it will be while loop or for loop in any anything as you like so the first thing we have to pick any point from a math suppose let's take these all the our core points all the our, our core points these white points all are the core points first we have to pick any core point from here now and we will put it into a cluster put it into a cluster okay now after this after picked up this core point we have to find all the density connected point to this point p I mean suppose let's take suppose let's take these are the density connected point these are the density connected these are the density connected let let these are the means this is the p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p5 p6 okay suppose let's these are the density connected point now we will put all the points into the same cluster we will put all the points into the same cluster okay after the next we have to pick another core point another core point we have to pick 
So suppose let's take in this step, we will pick another core point. Yeah, this one will pick. Next iterations. Now after next stage, we will make these things as a new cluster. Using this core point, we will make a new cluster, and we will and this step we will find it. So what will be the density connected point? Suppose let's take this the point Q. We will find it is the density connected. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. This one the density connected. So let's take this is the Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q5, Q6, Q7. These are the density. Now we will put these things into a single cluster. We will put all the points into a single cluster. Same thing. Now next step, we will pick another 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 core point. We will pick another core point. Suppose that we will pick now it this one, this one. Okay. Now if we pick this, what will be its? Now uh, we will make it as a new cluster and now after next step we have to find its density connected point. Suppose let's take these are the density connected. R. These are the R1. Now we have to put these things into a cluster. So that's the job that we have to repeatedly doing this job. Okay. For each core point. Okay, I think you got the point. This is the second step. This is sorry, this is the third step that we have to make. So now, now let's come to the fourth step. Now fourth step. In fourth step, uh, rest of the means we already used noise point, we already used core point, the rest of the points we have the border point only. Now let's discuss the border point. Now for each border point, now for each border point, We assign this edge border point to the nearest core point. Okay, already we have seen how to find the border point and nearest and by how to find a border point and how to how uh, how to find by simple using the distance. If the distance for any core point, if this distance is less than is equals to uh, less than is equals to epsilon and this point is not a core point, then we call these points are the border point. Okay, suppose let's take. Suppose let's take here I am using the red color. These the red points are the border points here. Red points are the border points here. Let red points are the border point. Border points here. Now first we have to find the what is the nearest, nearest core points, nearest core clusters, points cluster. Suppose let's based on this point we make it is the border point okay now we'll find what is the cluster of it now we will assign this core point to this cluster now we'll assign this point to this cluster what is this now same things also suppose let's this is the now assign this point to this cluster similarly for for this border point this is the nearest core point now assign this point to the same cluster similarly for what is the nearest for the nearest point we will assign this one to this cluster for this Similarly, for what is the nearest core point? Let you now we assign this point to the same cluster. That's the job we have to make for this edge core point. Okay. So for each core point that we have to make, we have to assign. We have to assign it to the to the nearest core points. clusters i think from these examples you got the idea how to use these things now now the questions that how to find the density connected points how to find this thing how to find this sorry for that how to find this these are the density connected points so to find the density connected points the same query functions we have to again use the query function means the range query the range query function that we have used to find the to, to find the core points to border points and noise points for finding the level the function that is the same functions we have to use the range query we will use 
okay we will use the same function okay. so i think you got the idea how this how this db scan algorithms actually works so just recap this thing so in first in first we have to choose our hyperparameter means mean points and epsilon we have to choose according to our requirement according to our problem we will see these things in the next video how to choose the right hyperparameter now first step we have to label each data points so to label each data points we will use the range query function so after labeling this means we have to label the edge point is core border or noise point such kind of labeling we have to make as you you can label it through the color you can label it through different kind of symbols as you like okay we have to label it now the second point we have to remove the edge noise noise point from our data set so we have to remove the edge noise point that means what we have created the sparse radian more and more so to the remove noise points that's are not belonging to our any cluster because of these reasons we have to remove the edge noise cluster noise points now in third step we have to pick each core point and we we using this core point we have to make a cluster okay new new cluster and after that we have to find its density collector collected connected points for that core point and we have to assign this that density connected point to the same cluster okay that's the job that you have to do in the second step in the third sub stages okay. after doing this we have to find what will be our border points that means we are already used noise point core points now rest of the points are the border points now for each border points we have to assign each border points to the nearest core points cluster okay just see these things it is the uh, core point and its nearest as in the nearest core point is for this border point nearest core point is this one this p point now with the, the cluster of this p point is this this uh, this pink this means i am light pink region okay now we will assign this point on to this cluster similarly for here also let's see for this part for this border point the nearest query point is q3 now the cluster for this q3 is deep pink color so we will assign this this border point to this cluster similarly for here also i think from these discussions you got the idea how we will use these algorithms i request you if you have any problem please revisit this lecture again and although if you have any problem please mail me or comment below i will try to give as simple i will try to make this video again as simple as i can okay so we will see this thing we will see how to choose the right hyperparameter in the next video so till now stay tuned